And that's it. That could go in and no that will way. go in. J Naps, you are nuts. And now they will go 2 1 up after previously being two, I mean, one goal down. Oh, Taken what a down the player, G2. The G2 Rocket League team started 2018 with the, the DreamHack Open at Leipzig. We were invited through a direct invite from doing so well at RLCS the past season. And as we got closer and closer to the tournament, we realized that there were a lot of very good teams showing up at the event. It was probably the highest difficulty of tournament that any team has played at in the history of Rocket League. Going into that, coming off of an E-League win, as well as a top four ending at RLCS, it was scary because we want to show that we're consistent, but it's also good because we know that we just beat one of the World Championship and we can show that again perfectly by taking a chance to go boot camp at the G2 offices uh, in Berlin for a few days before DreamHack Open. We went into day three very, very confident because we had been looking very good compared to some of the top teams in the world, such as Fnatic and Gale Force. Having back-to-back -back grand finalist appearances is crazy in Rocket League, seeing so, you know, as on any day any team can win. I, I don't think it was a very uh, emotional loss uh, to PSG in the grand finals. We're very happy that we were able to show that we can make it to the Grand Finals again. It takes a lot of composure to be able to play 14 games in a row and still come out happy, not mad, not sad, just content and ready to move on to the next season of RLCS. And I think that's one of the best things about making the Grand Finals at DreamHack Open is with RLCS Season 5 so close. Going in with the most confidence possible is going to treat any team very well. Going into RLCS, Jane Apps was considered one of the contenders for the best player in the world. We showed that he is definitely a contender by placing top four. We go into E-League, and JNAPS is one of the main reasons that we were able to win E-League. And people were basically considering either Turbo Pulsa or JNAPS as the best player in the world. And the fact that we were able to come back to DreamHack and have JNAPS show up in the Grand Finals, I'm pretty sure he deserves the title of best player in the world at this point. The GT Rocket League team is in a very interesting situation as we are one of the most friendly teams. All four of us, Kronovi, JNAPS, Rizzo, and myself, we're all pretty close friends. We hang out in-game, out-of-game, in Discord, out-of-Discord. We are very confident. We've been playing very well recently, especially offline tournaments, and it's looking great for the future of G2 Rocket League. If you want to hop in the knapsack, subscribe.